Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a quick look at an interesting all-in-one keyboard that also contains USB hubs on the very top. So this is going to be ideal for ultra portables, for MacBooks, and other thin and light laptops that might be missing I.O. Just plug in one cable onto your computer and get all of these functions in one. It is constructed out of aluminum and looks to be pretty sturdy, and specifically it also has an HDMI 4K 30Hz output. So you can even use this keyboard to connect it to a monitor, which is pretty crazy. And then other ports here include full-size USB 3.0 ports. It looks like we get four of those. We also get a full-sized SD card reader, a USB Type-C port that supports power delivery up to 100 watts. So in fact, you can connect this keyboard to a charger and it can charge your laptop when it's connected. The keyboard is also backlit, so you can see it even in darker environments and has three levels that you can adjust to, which is great. Uh, with that being said, this is still an island or chiclet style keyboard, so definitely in line with something like a MacBook or Apple style design instead of something like a mechanical keyboard. Specifically, it's called the KDK1 keyboard, and it comes in two colors. This is the space gray colors. And on top here, we do have kind of a silicon sheet that you can use to protect the keyboard from dust. And then we have just the keyboard itself, which as you can see here, all of the cables are actually detached. Even if a cable breaks or fries, you can still easily replace it, even though this is not a wireless Bluetooth keyboard since it has all of these hubs at the end of the day. So very slim and again full metal. We'll take a closer look at this in a moment. And finally here we have just a quick user guide with different shortcut commands for iOS, iPads, it also works with Android and Windows of course. We do have just the connection that plugs into your computer, so it is using just a Type-C to Type-C. And there's also two little bumpers which are uh, having this 3M tape that you can attach onto the back of the keyboard if you want to elevate the angle. Now, I probably would have preferred if those would be integrated into the keyboard itself, but I also understand that maybe they were trying to go for a thinner profile, and so it's now an optional accessory that you can stick on. So anyways, here's the keyboard itself, which on first impressions is indeed very kind of premium, sturdy looking, has all of these chamfered shiny edges reflecting on the sides as you can see there and then it has these rounded keycaps which are actually pretty cute looking reminds you in a way of a simplified or modern typewriter and then overall not too bad in terms of travel and feedback it's of course no mechanical keyboard but a little bit better than say butterfly switches and overall still has a decent action to it as you are typing along, has a little bit of sound, and each of the buttons have this kind of textured matte surface. All of the dimples here also have slightly indented inward, so they have a bit of an ergonomic touch to them when you're typing. And on the back, all of the I.O., full-sized HDMI port there, micro SD, full-size SD, four USB 3.0, and then full-size power delivery for charging, and then the second one here needs to be plugged into your computer. They claim it's just plug and play, so no drivers or any extra software is needed for it to be recognized. A couple things to keep in mind, this is definitely a setup where you want to have it on a desk at home where there's a bit more space because there's going to be cables and things plugging out from the top. And in terms of the brightness controls, they're just these two light bulb icons where if we kind of dim the lights a little bit and I tap on this, you'll see it get kind of gradually brighter. So if you were in complete darkness, at least it still is pretty easy to see and make things out, although it doesn't have any other RGB special colors or effects. Now the second thing that you have to know is even though it's going to be compatible with every single MacBook, if you are trying to use it with a Windows or a Chromebook, you have to be a little bit careful since there are some budget computers that have a Type-C port for, let's say, data, but they don't necessarily support everything like video as well as charging. You might not get full functionality out of all of these ports, but at least for the Type-C ports for data, those should be working across every device. So of course the overall keyboard is going to be a lot more quiet than mechanical, but still has a little bit of a satisfying clack to it. Spacebar also feels pretty even, and as a whole, no real issues. It's a full-size layout, pretty spacious in terms of the keys, you won't really find too many typos, and I was able to get used to the layout just after a few minutes of using it. When it comes to plugging in the peripherals, something to keep in mind is that both the micro SD and the full-size SD readers will have the card still protrude a little bit from the top. It doesn't go all the way in, but since you'll be on the desk and stay it's not too big of an issue, just one thing to keep in mind. Otherwise, the ports feel pretty snug and tight in terms of connection, although I will admit that the USB Type-A ports might be a little bit 
close together. So if they increase the spacing a little bit, even if you have thicker cables, it might prevent any interference and you can use all of them at the same time. You're able to plug in, let's say, even a connection to your phone, transfer files, connect it to a printer. Really, the possibilities here are endless, including Samsung phones with DeX, Huawei, and LG. So if you plug it into one of those flagship devices, uh, just that one Type-C port, and you'll have the ability to use a keyboard and then still connect the HDMI into a monitor, everything will be fully supported. And you can just convert your phone basically into a desktop-like experience. Overall, nice functionality combined into a fairly attractive package. And so if you're looking for a combination like this, you can learn more details in the links below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.